What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today, we're looking at an RCS V Star deck that is very, very cool. But before we get into it, leave it down in the comments down below. What has been your favorite card to pair with RCS V Star so far? I'll give one of the commenters 25 codes. We'll pull that in a couple days. Don't worry. All you have to do is comment down below and you'll be entered to win some brilliant stars codes for PTCGO or PTCGL. But today, we're looking at RCS V Star combined with grass and fighting attackers. Namely, that's going to be Flygon V, actually a dragon type, but it's using grass and fighting energy. We got some Shaman V action. We've got some Galarian Zapados, and we've got Beedrill Single Strike with Single Strike Mustard. Even one metal energy for the new Zamazenta V. That's a very good attacker against Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. So we're going to look at this deck real quick and then get into some gameplay on PTCGO with it. But before we do that, shout out to my sponsors, PotownStore.com, the best place to get PTCGO codes, and Card Troopergames.com, where you can find physical card product like booster boxes of brilliant stars. Use code CLEO for 5% off at both of those places also check out pokemoncard.io for all my standard format deck lists that will be updated with brilliant stars any day now and beast coast pokemon the youtube channel i'm a part of go check that out we recently signed aaron cybertron zhang one of the best vgc players in the world um, if you don't know of him maybe you know some of the other cast over there on the channel so definitely go check that out and give us a sub and also subscribe to this channel. Now let's get into the deck that we're talking about today. So RCS V-Star, the best new card from Brilliant Stars. Uh, 280 HP, colorless type V-Star, only giving up two prize cards when it's knocked out. Trinity Nova 200 allows you to attach up to three basic energies from your deck to any of your Pokemon V, however you like. This makes this a very versatile card, as well as the V-Star power ability Star Birth that lets you search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Flygon V is a very strong attacker, specifically against VMAX decks. So we're only playing one of them, but we can get back any of our V Pokemon with Ditto V's V Transformation, which turns into a basic Pokemon V from your discard pile, keeps all the cards that were previously attached to Ditto. So Flygon V's Draconic Impulse does 160 for 4 energy, which by today's standards is quite poopy, but... If the active Pokemon's a VMAX, it does 320 instead, and then you discard 3 energy from this Pokemon. Valerian Zapdos has the Thunderous Kick attack to do 170 and its fighting type, which means it can knock out Arceus V-Star, Jolteon V-Max, Gengar V-Max, but has a hefty energy cost that is helped out by its ability Fighting Instinct. This Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless less for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play, so sometimes we can use this for just a single fighting energy. Shaman V is a good attacker if we want to hit grass type weakness with Revenge Blast, 60 plus 40 more for each prize card your opponent has taken, and it only costs 2 energy. And then Zamazenta V has a very similar attack for metal and 2 colorless. It does 120 plus 30 more for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if an Ice Rider Calyrex V Max takes just 2 prizes against you, Revenge Blast is then knocking them out in just one swing. And Zamazenta V also has the Regal Stance ability once during your turn. You may discard your hand and draw five cards and then end your turn. And this is a pretty good ability. We're playing two single strike mustards. You can only play this card when it's the last card in your hand. And you get to search your deck for a single strike Pokemon and put it directly to your bench. Then draw five cards. So Beedrill is going to be that single strike Pokemon that we want to put on our bench. It's a stage two that we can cheat into play with mustard and then... Persist Sting knocks out the opponent's active if it has a special energy attached to it. And there's a lot of special energy going around, and this Beedrill can be very, very good. So that is going to be the brief overview of this deck. I'll leave the list uh, exported from PTCGO down in the comments below. And I hope you all enjoy the gameplay. Going first. Very good. Um, yeah, Ditto in the active is the best thing we can do. And we're playing against Mew. Okay. Ditto can be anything. Even a Ditto. Definitely discarding this to send it back into the deck with Ordinary Rod. Probably this as well. Just get an Arceus attach. Actually, we'll ditto into the Flygon because it has more HP and that's harder for uh, Meloetta to knock out. And then rod those two back instead. We'll get ditto and Beedrill back. Okay. 
of course, an escape rope would, uh, <laughs> an escape rope would not be great. Because then they, uh, it's still 220, so they'll have to reach to knock it out. They'll need all three energy plus a belt or a power tablet. Uh, but with a rope, they would be knocking out Arceus instead of Flygon, which would be very bad. There's the Alessa. But no Meloetta. We're saved. Alessa for one energy? What? What is going on? Just Alessa for one energy energy mix? Okay, we're we're getting out easy here. Cause that was not your that was not the typical Mew start. I think they're... Oh, they're afraid of Beedrill. Oh, okay. That's what it is. They're afraid of Beedrill. So this knocks out uh, Mew already. We don't even need Choice Belt. Oh, we can knock out the Mew with a Choice Belt? I like that. Yeah, that's sick. So we just Starbirth for Balloon plus something. Probably Balloon plus Ultra Ball. So next turn we could go ahead and single strike Mustard. Ultra Ball away. Yeah. Okay, I like this. So Star Birth. Um, for Balloon. Wait, are both Balloon? No, both Balloons aren't prized. Okay, so Star Birth for Balloon plus... Um, yeah, plus Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of this one because it doesn't have the special energy on it and they're trying to save it from Beedrill. So we could potentially take it out with Beedrill next turn. And we have the Ultra Balls. We have the Balloon on Flygon. We could also just Flygon and UV Max next turn. We're just really in a good position here. We take two prizes. Yeah, I mean, if Mew doesn't get the typical Mew start, we're just going to dumpster them. Beautiful. So we can knock them out with Beedrill and get the... We can knock them out with Flygon and get the Beedrill set up. Unless they knock out our Flygon here. And if they knock out our Flygon, we'll just go for the Beedrill this turn. We actually can guarantee it because we have Training Court. As long as Luminion's in the deck, we guarantee the Beedrill. Oh, they're playing the Ice Q. 40 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each, or one of your opponent's Pokemon for each Fusion Strike energy they have in play, so uh, they can snipe for 80 right now. Snipe for a maximum of 160 later on. So because I was able to do the boss play, we stopped them from potentially having a Mew without special energies. It already had the one basic, so they could have potentially had two basic. But now they're stuck with this Mew with special energy, so they just go all in, attach the next special energy. Oh. They don't even get the knockout. I missed that, that they only played one power tablet that turn. Oh, that's horrible. That's really, really bad. Okay, training courts in play. So that means we can't play our own training. But we can aura. We can just attach, actually. Yeah, 
we have Lumineon. We have Mustard, we have B. So what else could we even want down? Um, I don't think Zamazenta is horrible. And then Ultra Ball, these two away. Or Luminion. I did attach for turn to get the cards out of my hand in order to play Mustard. Um, so I won't be using the B this turn, but it does get it onto the bench, so that's good. Go and do this. I have Boss in there, and I have Eldegoss in the deck, so I can Ultra Ball for Eldegoss next turn, so that's good. And they scoop. Okay. The Draconic Impulse is incoming, and they know their Mew's getting one shot. Going first is fantastic. And this start will definitely do. They're starting out here with a Mimic U. Okay. Um, we'll bench Arceus. We'll attach Basic Fighting. We could discard our hand and draw five new cards, but I don't see much of a reason to do that. And if we're not going to use this ability, I don't think we bench that right now. Yeah, we'll just pass. Double turbo. Okay. Double turbo and pass. Oh no. That's uh that's game right there. We'll just go ahead and grab ourselves uh double turbo. Yeah, there's the scoop. Okay. <laughs> Very quick one. Okay, so what's the best thing to start here? I think it might be Zamazenta. Yeah, we'll start Zamazenta. And we are playing against Shadow Rider Kali. We do get a Mulligan draw, which is good with this hand. Okay, that's not that's not a good mulligan draw. That's a pretty good draw though. I start Articuno. Um Really the question is do we regal stance, discard our hand, draw five cards and turn? Do we do that or not? Zero energy in hand is pretty poor. So we're going to be behind a bit, I think. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and regal stance. All right, pretty good. We'll have to see if they're playing a Whimsicott variant. If they are, they might be playing double turbo as well. And that could mean that uh, Beedrill would help. But if they're only playing basic energy, then we'll never want to put Beedrill into play. see some discarding here to get another shadow rider no evidence of whimsicott or special energy still 
so we'll assume that Beedrill is out of commission this game, as is uh, Galarian Zapdos V. It can also stop us from attaching special energy this upcoming turn, which uh, could be really rough. Yeah, they are going to go ahead and do that, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so I'll just attach here. Let's Ultra Ball these two for Arceus. And then Ordinary Rod. Or Eldegoss and Luminion. I think those are the most useful cards here. And what I'm thinking is that if uh if they shadow mist again i can't attach double turbo to this next turn but if they shadow mist again they're just shadow misting right so like they're not really doing much and that's fine so i just take another turn of just manually attaching i don't necessarily want to bench this yet because i don't want them to know about this threat mm, but i could get marnie and i'll want it there no, I don't I don't want them to know about it yet. So we'll just pass. Now if I drew into a ditto, I would have benched that. But I don't want to bench the flag on V itself. Really, we just want to see a basic energy to attach for turn. And we have that there. And shadow mist. Okay. Go ahead and attach this bench. And I actually like my hand. So we'll just keep it. Playing slow here, but, you know, our opponent isn't forcing us to do much of anything else. They could definitely go for, like, bossing our Arceus. But then we can just set up the next Arceus from there. Because uh, we can just get Raihan double turbo if they went like boss knock out the V-Star. Okay, Avery, and that's not going to affect us. And right now they're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're doing 220 right now. They would need two more energy in play to knock out Arceus, or one more energy plus a choice belt. Have we seen new cards yet? Yeah, we've seen Ultra Ball, so they are playing a Brilliant Stars list. Alright, and they're just going to Max Geist on the Zamazenta, that's fine. We'd actually be able to gust up a V and knock it out, so they have less energy available, and then we can like just one-shot this next turn, or we could even bring this up and hit that, because it has two of their energy. That could actually be a big deal. Let's... Let's go ahead and star birth. Okay, we're going to get a basic energy and a boss. I'll attach. Okay. 
so if we were to knock this out one two three four five one six okay yeah i think it's best if we just take all of this energy off the board and then we should Ultra Ball for Flygon. And Trinity Nova. And get double fighting one grass. So... What will they need to knock out Flygon? They're doing 160 right now. So they'll need to attach two energy, which isn't hard for them. They can train core for one, have another in hand, and then boss for the Flygon. But then that leaves the Arceus. Yeah, so we might be in trouble here, but Shadow Rider Calyrex, unfortunately, is not one of the decks my deck is built to be prepared for. Uh, Choice Belt would knock out the Arceus, I believe. Yeah, they're doing 250 right now. Okay, that means no choice belts coming up. And no boss. Okay. Wait, they had boss. Oh, what a misplay. Yeah, they really want to knock out this Flygon. Maybe they haven't read the Flygon. That's definitely possible. But they might... Yeah, I think they might just be able to knock out the Flygon next turn anyway. Okay. So, we just don't out-trade them ever here. They just go two prize, two prize, two prize. And Max Geist for 280 exactly. And then they'll just need to attach one energy next turn. So they will be able to win here. But we get to use Flygon V before we lose. And that's really all that matters, right? So we do 320. And then they just need to attach one energy. But we got we got to use Draconic Impulse in this match. So I'm happy about that. But unfortunately, the prize trade did, just did not work out in our favor here. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna show off a little bit, attach a couple extra energy. That's a few extra energy here. Oh, sure. Do 300. 280. Nice. All right. GG. Well, this deck loves starting with the one of Zombies at the V. <laughs> That's what we've learned so far. The testing is paying off. We always start Zamazenta. Not by choice, though.
Okay, we know nothing about our opponent's deck. We know absolutely nothing that's going on there. Ultra Ball for Arceus and then Ultra Ball these away um, could be for Luminion for Single Strike Mustard but we don't even know if that will be useful so we don't know what we're playing against uh, it could be a Suicune deck that doesn't play specials. It could play. It could be Jolteon that does play specials. Yeah, let's go for it. You know what? Let's. This could be an insane turn. Turn one mustard. Grab the Beedrill from the deck. Bench it. Draw five. And, uh, do we do anything else here? Do we want a new hand? Yeah, sure, why not? We don't need these cards. Regal Stance, get a new hand. Not bad. Okay, now we'll find out what we're playing against. It's playing quick ball. We're playing against Jolteon. Okay. Jolteon does play special energy, so if they have to put a speed energy down, our B drill is ready to go. If they put down a speed energy, we're swooping in. Swooping in. Oh, Marnie, my hand was really nice. Please attach a speed energy, please. That would make for such good content. Alright, this hand's fine too. Speed energy? No, no speed energy, of course not. Okay. Um, but we'll just go ahead and knock out a Jolteon with Arceus, I think. Um, what do we need? Mm, do we need too much for that? Do we have a boss in our discard? We don't have a boss in our discard yet. So let's go ahead and attach here and evolve. And quick ball that away for Crobat. And see if we can get anything so we can get two other cards off of Starbirth. Yeah, we got. Okay, cool. We got Balloon, uh, we also got Rod, which is helpful. So we can get Boss Belt. Those are the most important energies. And then, do we even... Actually, do we even do it? Or do we just... Because if we knock this out, we go to two, and then they bring another one up and we knock that out. We actually want them to have more on the bench. So Zapdos is more feasible of an attacker. So maybe we just hit this. And hope they don't lock us out of Starbirth for next turn. Hmm. Actually, wait, this is a better play. This is a better play. I got it. We're on a Starbirth for uh, Zappo.
Might be research. Yeah. We'll get these two. And we'll bench that. Um, and we can research this turn or next turn. Because we don't need any of these cards. I'd actually like to thin most of these cards out of my deck, so let's just go ahead and research now. We'll knock out the Drizzile. And Trinity Nova. And with that, we will... Make it so Zapdos can attack no matter what. Even if they path to the peak us, we'll just be one energy attachment away from attacking with Zapdos, so that works. And if they were to attach speed energy, we'd just knock them out with Beedrill, which is sick. Path and retreat. Oh boy, and we <laughs> Oh man, we top deck boss. Uh can we do something with that though? Actually, we can't, because of the path. Wow, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, Marnie. Because our active's only doing uh, 180, and they have 190. Go ahead and attach this here. And we'll attach this here and Trinity Nova again. Sure, we'll toss that on to Zappo. I'm thinking I could always get Zapdos back if they two sh So, like, they set up Zapdos to be two shot. I bring it up, I knock that out, and then all I have to do is boss up a single prizer. Okay. Yep, 100-100. And we'll just switch. Attach that. I think we keep the ditto. No, we need to get into boss for next turn. Or not. Two boss in the deck. Um, if they're down to four prizes, if they take four prizes. No, okay, that never matters then. I guess there's really nowhere else to attach this though. And then we'll leave Path in for now. Because we don't want them to get back basic energy anyway, so we don't want to put Training Court down. They've already played a Tool Scrapper. Let's get that out of our deck. And then Thunderous Kick.
Oh, they could attach speed energy and knock that out this turn. And then the speed energy won't matter. Take three prizes. But then I still don't see how they would win. Yeah, so they do get a double knockout here on both of my threats. Which is actually really good for them. And I don't have boss in the discard. Oh, they benched another Jolteon. But I can't... Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Um. Oh, I discarded Ditto. Never mind. If I didn't discard Ditto, but I had to to research to try to get into boss. I was thinking I could Raihan onto Zapdos to remove that. Um... And I can't... Mm. Yeah, but I don't think there's any way they can win, right? We probably just get this. No. We hold this. And then we swing. And we have nothing in there. Oh, Cheryl? No, Cheryl doesn't do it. Cheryl plus fan, actually. Could do it. Oh, jeez. Cheryl plus fan could do it, maybe. Because I didn't have any energy to attach the Flygon from deck last turn, which was really rough. So I should have attached all those energies to Zamazen to, to secure the win. But they don't know that we Rai Hunt for boss, so I think we got it. Okay, sick. GG. That was, that was way too close.